Well, it's become an annual tradition in September, the Dan Weldon Memorial Pro-Am Karting Challenge at the really cool Newcastle Motorsports Park. And this year, even more important, as it also honors the late Justin Wilson with proceeds not only going to Alzheimer's, but the Wilson Children's Fund, uh, the Weldon Pro-Am. Again, it comes out this Saturday. Joseph Newgarten is one of the IndyCar regulars at the event, two-time winner in the recently wrapped up IndyCar season. And Joseph joins us tonight on Sunday Sports Extra. Great to be here, Dave. Thanks for having me. How you doing? Good I'm to see you. Good to see you, my friend. Good to see you. Uh, first of all, this has been the buzz all night. What what happened to the Colts today, man? <sighs> man, I don't you know watched some of it, right? I did watch some of it. I saw we got creamed in the first half, and then <laughs> came back I like traditionally. That. You know what? We've called this many things in the last half hour. Creamed was not one of them. We so got creamed. I, I mean, no, absolutely. You know, you're right. There's no way to sugarcoat it. No, absolutely. Uh, you grew up playing all kinds of sports. Did you ever play football? Did you ever think about playing football? I played peewee football, so oh, I don't know okay. if that counts. No, I think it counts. I played baseball and basketball mainly. I think the Colts today played peewee football. <laughs> the first half, they, they <laughs> certainly half, did. Exactly. You know, they ramped it up in the second, but, I, you know, the Colts, man, they're, they're going to get the rhythm, I feel like. Yeah, it's just one game. That's, that's what we're going to hear a lot It's the start. It's a long season, just man, one you know? Game. It's like the IndyCar season. You start off. You yeah, a long season to go. We well, got a pretty nice season. We'll get we'll get to that in a second. But back to the point here tonight as we look ahead to Saturday's pro am, uh, and more importantly, honoring Justin Wilson uh, as well. And that's going to be special on Saturday too. Yeah, it's going to be great. I mean, I'm hoping we get a lot of people out next weekend on Saturday. Yeah. Uh, Newcastle Motorsports Park is where I grew up karting. You that's know, right. I'm an Indy car driver now, but I grew up there when I was 13 years old racing go karts. It's really a cool event. Uh, there's so you're, so much, you're a shoe man, is what you're saying then? I, I don't know about that. I, I've lost the first two years, so I haven't. I, we haven't won. And this one event. with us, but anyway, that's another story. Yeah. yeah. It, anyways, though, the, Newcastle is a great place. Yeah. You know, people that come out, they're going to see a lot of IndyCar stars. We love coming together. You know, everyone, everyone knows Dan Weldon and and uh, mm -hmm. you know his saga in IndyCar. And this is really to, every year it's to honor Dan, to bring everyone together, have a lot of fun, raise money for for Alzheimer's. And then this year, like you said, we're also going to be honoring Justin. Justin Wilson and we're going to be raising a lot of money for his family too. Let's talk about Justin a little bit and, and the whole situation of Pocono and a lot of the what I'm going to call drive-by national media who've never seen an IndyCar before uh, took their shots at the sport after what happened at Pocono. How, how do you look back at that? Well, you know, it's a, it's a difficult it's a difficult circumstance. You know, it's um, everyone th whenever whenever anything like that happens, everyone's going to try and put their two cents in and right. say, you know, what is you know right, what's wrong. And at the end of the day, I think Tony Kanaan really said it best. You know, racing is a dangerous sport. It's always going to be that way. You know, I, I've known the risk going into racing, mm -hmm. um, but it's like anything else. You know, driving your car on the road is dangerous too, but it doesn't mean I'm not going to stop going to the grocery store and getting groceries. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's it's part of it. And um, you know, what happened was was terrible. None of us want to see that happen, but um, it's one of those deals where, you know, it did happen. Now we got to go back. We got to look at how we're going to make the car safer. We make them as safe as we can, but you know, things can always happen, and, and unfortunately, they did. A lot of talk about canopies too. On these, which raises a whole nother issue, or maybe a can of worms if you put these canopies. But where do you stand on that? Are you interested to see? What kind of technology might be out there for that sort of thing? Well, I think canopies are a great uh, innovation that, that could come into effect, you know, w w one day. I don't know when that would be. I don't know if it's, you know, the next year or is the next 10 years. I, I don't think it's going to be next year. It's, I, this it, is maybe the next generation of a car or something, which we're talking maybe, what, two, three years down the road. Exactly. So. Exactly. And that's the point. You know, people that say, oh, you got to do something now. Well, well we're going to be proactive to try and find a solution. I don't think we're going to sit back from this. Right. But, you know, you can't expect that the cars are going to be completely changed for next year. It's, you know. They're, they're very difficult to fully change like that. So I think with innovation, we're going to come with new technologies like canopies, right. and we're going to figure something out. You know, just when that's going to be introduced, I don't know. But I'm all for it. I'm for innovation. That's what IndyCar is all about. We've always been pushing the boundaries. We're the ones that invented the safe walls. I mean, that's what everyone runs. Safer in. barriers, yeah. That's right. Exactly. In, in international racing, within U.S. motorsports, you know, our technologies normally transcend across all the motorsports. So I think we're going to take this and we're going to figure it out as well. For you personally, I would think a very gratifying season. A couple wins, Barber Motorsports Park on the streets of Toronto as well. How do you look back at 2015? Well, it was a great year. You know, I mean, it, 
I would have liked it to have been a little better. You sure. know, seventh in points was really good for us. Uh, we wanted to be a little higher. I think we had a top three championship car. Um, you know, all year we really were in the mix with those guys. We just didn't get it done in the end. Um, but we were there. You know, we won races. We were always in the mix. We were always racing up front. And that's really all you can ask for as a driver. You want to be in the mix each weekend. Right. You know, if you're running back in the midfield, 10th, 15th, it's not where you want to that's be. Not, that's no fun. And we were always in the mix. So that, that's what I take as a positive from this year. Let me, we have about a minute left. Uh, your contract's up now, right? With CF, CFH Racing. Oh, so, so when now what? I don't know. You know, I mean, I, I'm <laughs> Come, Break some news right here. Come on. You know what? The only thing I know is we're not racing anymore, so I'm excited to get going at the DW Pro Am. We got the Road Punk <laughs> 200 after that. Um, you know, again, everyone needs to come out. But you're doing a good job of de diverting. I'm trying to defer. Uh, you know, everyone's yeah. got to think about the karting races. Of course, yes, weekend, of course, But right. I don't know what's going to happen in IndyCar. I think uh, I think within the next week I'll have something figured out. But I can tell you what, I've got a lot of great support. I have great team owners that have have always pulled for me, and yep. I think are going to try and help me get into a situation. So, within a week, maybe before the the pro am next weekend, Ooh, I'll really? have something sorted out. Yeah. You have offers though. There's there's Plural? offers on the table. Plural. Ooh, see. <sighs> there's there's there might be multiple offers <laughs> potentially. <laughs> Uh, speaking of Saturday, who are you driving for, by the way? Uh, I'm, group? I'm driving for, for Big Machine. So we're the, the not defending on the same champs. Team. They are the defending champs. The Borchettas. Champs. See, this is. <sighs> it's big pressure. It's big, big pressure. Oh, these, is that guys, what it is? these guys have won 500s. Yeah. They've won IndyCar yeah. championships. They've won this race twice. Yeah. And then they called me and they said they expect to win a third time. So the pressure's on now. I don't, I don't know how it's going to go down. Like, but. Again, he's a ringer, it sounds like. Hey, again, here's all information for Saturday, third annual Dan Weldon Memorial Pro Am Karting Challenge in conjunction with the Robo Pong Weekend at Newcastle Motorsports Park. Pro Am comes up Saturday. Practice begins at 10 a.m., autograph session at 11.30. Then the Pro Am begins at 12.45. Joseph Newgarden is the ringer. <laughs> uh, by the way, if you want, hope so. yeah, if you more more information about the Wilson Children Fund, please visit WilsonChildrensFund.com. Our thanks to Joseph Newgarden. Nice job. Great to be here. Back after this.